short video shows how to properly set up, connect, and operate the Nanan Avant 9600 Digital Pulse Oximeter. The Avant 9600 model is designed for oxygen saturation and pulse rate monitoring and is compatible with the full range of Nanan brand pure light sensors. Nanan brand pulse oximeters are designed for use with Nanan brand sensors only. Do not use these pulse oximeters with other brand sensors. The Avant 9600 pulse oximeter allows you to use alarms that indicate when oxygen saturation or pulse rate fall outside of present ranges. To start, ensure you are using a Nanan brand sensor fully compatible with the Avant 9600 oximeter. All Nanan pure light sensor types will work with the Avant oximeter. This oximeter is a good choice for tabletop or bedside use and is also suitable for portable use. It must have the rechargeable battery pack from Nanan Medical installed in the Avant 9600 oximeter to operate even when using AC power. This battery pack maintains settings, memory, and alarms when the oximeter is unplugged and may also act as the primary power supply for up to 12 hours. Recharging takes about 4 hours when the battery pack has been completely depleted. The battery level indicator displays even when the oximeter is running on external power. With the oximeter running, momentarily press the on-off button and the pulse strength bar LEDs will display the battery charge. Amber represents depleted capacity and green indicates available battery capacity. The battery will charge while the oximeter is running on external power. The Avant 9600 stores at least 115 hours of continuous arterial oxygen saturation and pulse rate data. This data can be transferred and analyzed in Nanan's N-Vision software via a modem cable from the oximeter to a computer with N-Vision installed. The Avant 9600 oximeter comes with a default low alarm setting of 85% SpO2, a high pulse rate of 200 beats per minute and a low pulse rate of 50 beats per minute. Nanan sensors have an emitter that projects a tuned light wave pattern through the arterial blood and a detector which receives that light. Changes in the light wave spectrum during pulsation of blood generate a measure of blood oxygenation and pulse rate sent to the pulse oximeter. Prepare and place the sensor on the patient prior to connecting it to the oximeter. Proper sensor placement is critical for accurate readings. Follow the instructions for each sensor type to ensure secure, aligned positioning of the sensor on the finger or skin surface. Connect the sensor to the pulse oximeter by inserting the plug with the Nanan logo visible from the front into the left side of the unit. The connector should firmly seat in the connector port on the oximeter. Press the on-off button to start the unit. The oximeter will run through a startup check as it turns on. Check the oximeter's time and date settings for accuracy. You can set the time and date by pressing the clock button and using the scroll buttons to set the proper time and date. Alarm ranges can be customized by pressing the Alarm Limits button and then using the plus or minus button to scroll to the desired setting for each limit. Alarm limits will return to the default settings when the oximeter is restarted after being turned off. A patient security mode prevents changes to alarm limits and a number of alarm and functional settings. During startup, you will see the software revision PS underscore DFL, meaning patient security mode is enabled, followed by the upper and lower alarm limits. Refer to the instructions for use to learn how to set or cancel patient security mode or reprogram settings. The alarms are silenced for the first two minutes after starting the unit to allow time for adjusting settings and connecting the sensor to the unit. The oximeter will start displaying and recording SpO2 and pulse as soon as the sensor is placed on the patient. The SpO2 level is shown on the left side and the pulse rate on the right side. The pulse strength signal bar in the center indicates the signal quality. Green bars indicate a strong reading, amber indicates a marginal reading, and red indicates a low reading. 
It's a good idea to check pulse signal quality at startup and adjust the sensor for a stronger reading if necessary. Signal loss from the sensor is possible with hand or body movement or disconnection of the cable. Check and correct the position of the sensor if it has moved and recheck the sensor connection to the oximeter. Signal can also be reduced by body position or cold conditions too, which may reduce blood flow. Relax and warm the hand to restore stronger blood flow. If oxygen saturation or pulse rate readings go outside of the limits, the oximeter will sound a 3-beep, 2-beep audible signal that repeats every 10 seconds. Red LEDs on the oximeter will flash in unison. You can silence the audible alarm for two minutes by pressing the bell icon button. And you can return the audible alarm by pressing the button again. When the alarms are in the unlocked setting, the alarm will stop and return to normal monitoring function when oxygen saturation level, or pulse rate, return to the preset range. This option is controlled by DIP switch 3. In the locked alarm position, you must press the alarm silence button to clear the alarm status. Other alarms from the oximeter diagnostics may occur. This will typically generate an error code on the display. You can silence the audible alarm with the alarm silence button. The oximeter will record the time and date of any alarm in its stored data, along with regular oxygen saturation and pulse readings for at least 115 hours of data. It overwrites data when the memory space is full. When you are ready to stop using the oximeter, Simply press and hold the on-off button until the unit turns off. Hold for one second in normal function and five seconds if the unit is in patient security mode. Then, remove the sensor and unplug it from the oximeter. With proper use, the Nanan Avant 9600 pulse oximeter will provide consistent, accurate oxygen and pulse rate measurement. You can find additional use information on this and other Nanin products at www.nanin.com.